Let's get it out of the way early, mate, because it starts tonight, and I want you to say it. Be generous and be kind. The Waz play tonight against the Knights. Tell me it's our year, Greg. You there? Are you there? Oh, you sod. Uh, hello? Hey, you sod me. Come on, man. Just... Can, what, just... what are you basing that on? Hold on. What are you basing that on? I know I each year go, the, what, this will be the year the Wallabies beat the All Blacks. It's as dull as that, because... It's never going to be the Warriors' year. Mate, I'm a, our radio station is a dolphin. We're supporting the dolphin. We'll be battling you blokes with a wooden spoon. Have reality. Come on. God, I mean, okay, as soon as you mentioned the Wallabies, I mean, it just brought me straight back down to earth. Because every year I always get you at the start of the year and you always say, oh, mate, this year we're winning the Bledders I Cup. I mean, as you will get it back, mate. It'll be this year. And, it, and just the hollowness of your voice says it all. And here am I saying... Do you know what, mate? I look. I, I turned down Disappointment Drive and I rent a, an apartment in pessimistic place yep. during Warriors season, and I'm happy here. But this that's, this, that's right. But this is the first game of the first round, and we're playing a team that's even worse than us. Come on, man. Uh, no, you're a if you're a Warriors fan, you should know after all the beatings and hammerings you've copped, lower your expectations, and then maybe get a surprise. Oh, look at that! We finished thirteenth. Oh. Um, because, my God, I'm a dolphin. I've become a Dolphins fan, and I know that the most important thing, they came in this morning to our radio studio and showered us with gifts and said, oh, you're a good partner. We're their radio partners. One of our bosses, one of our bosses said, yes, we'll be your radio partner. And then they shovel it to us and go, hey, be nice to the Dolphins. Well, maybe I don't want to be nice to the Dolphins. And then they give me all these presents this morning. How long do I give them? Three weeks, and then I can't be nice anymore to the Dolphins. If they're coming last, I don't want to be a loser because you're a loser. Oh, yeah, well, that's because... Well, but but that's, I mean, look, this is the whole... You know, the, but the, you know I tell you, as much as we eternalise everything in sport, right, and we remember yeah. and, 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 and losses haunt us forever, and we sit there sometimes on the couch vacantly staring into space, and she might say... Yep. What are you thinking about? And you don't want to tell her that 29 years ago, you know, there was a drop ball in that All Black test and Kerman knocked it on and we could have won it. I mean, you don't want to say that because it just seems so inconsequential. We also have three second goldfish memories, mate, and all of the pain and the misery when she broke our heart last year. I'm still knocking on the door of the Warriors thinking, oh, she's going to open the door and there won't be her new boyfriend there. She's going to love me. Mm, love you, Hicks. Well, that's what sport's all about because before, at the moment, the Warriors are equal. Oh, no, the, uh, the Warriors Mate, are coming second. Mathematically, we can still make the eight. That's right. You're still a chance. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come and, go, come and buy some merch. Get your jerseys for 100 and... How yeah. much do they cost over oh, there? I made 100 and... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. You need one of them, don't you? Oh, new sponsor. You'll need another jersey. Mm. You'll need another one. Okay. No. Actually, hey. I'm going to the footy Sunday. I'm going to watch me Dolphins play. So all year, I'll just be talking. <laughs> so... Dolphins. Go <laughs> the Dolphins. Actually, is it, now that there's four teams in Queensland, is that grid a kind of a, a mini competition now with the NRL? Now that you've got the tights, yeah. you've got... Brilliant. That's what it should do. Actually, no, it's all right, because this is... We're just mad about bloody rugby league here. So we've all got four teams, and we'll, we'll support all four teams, and then you have to make a decision on the week where, you know, two Queensland teams play each other, you'll make a decision that week. Because I, I really... I'll swing like a pendulum. I'm a bandwagon member. As soon as one team breaks away and they go, ooh, that's the best Queensland team, that'll be my team for this season, in reality. I was watching that. I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that with the All Blacks. Well, oh, yeah, so like you could be. Well, I mean, because you always bring up that familial connection and go, oh, that's right, I'm a third generation, twice removed, ex-wife, new wife, past wife, present wife. She's got an in-law. No, no, no. One and only wife's father was from the top of the South Island, like as if that doesn't okay. make me... All right. Having sex with a, oh, <laughs> um, having sex with a kiwi, all the time. Well, well yeah, we'll explain that Rarely. to her then. Let's talk about last night and Cameron Munster because forget the game; it was a, a kind oh. of a messy game. But when you watch the guy run off and his hands going forward, but his fingers oh. actually turned right at the lights, mate. Good God, how much does that hurt to do that to your finger? Bloody eyes. Well, I've had enough fingers dislocated, but um, they pop them back in. But his broke through the skin. It was so badly dislocated that it popped out through the skin. And they said they just poked it back in and connected it up. And, and hey, gee, he's a tough bastard, that monster. But um, not a bad effort. We spoke about it on air today. And my suggestion, because it was his right ring finger, um, you, you just use your fingers 
that ring finger and the little finger, they're passengers. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Don't, yeah. they don't do anything. No, they don't, mate. Cup it off. No. You know, there's been a few rugby players over the years that have gone, that finger continually dis- dislocates. I'm getting rid of it. I think Angus Crichton, who plays with the Roosters, he chopped his off because he kept dislocating it. And that's what happens. Do you remember those pens? You know the pens that had four colours, like yes, a blue, yes, a red, yes, yes, I love black, those. and a green. Yeah, 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 yeah you used to love them, but the green that wasn't necessary. No, was never it? got used. Like mate. your little finger, never got used. Never mate. got used. No. It's like your little finger. What's it doing? Shouldn't have had it there. Let's talk Super Rugby in the Super Rugby round in Melbourne. And look, part of me kind of applauds the idea. I love the idea of spreading the game in that. But, you know, you go down to Melbourne, there's an Ed Sheeran concert tonight. So that's going to take 100,000 people at the MCG. 100,000 yeah. 100, at the MCG. So what kind of crowds are they going to get? Then I look at it and go, hang on a second. And there's you're resting All Blacks and star players. You're trying to promote this game and yet your big names don't, you know, some of them aren't turning up to play I, I kind of, I just, I, I'm not connecting dots here. Surely that somebody must sit there and figure this out and go, if we're going to continue to try and headbutt this market, we can't get any foothold in, at least mm. take your big names there, you dickheads. Oh, I don't know if it's about that. I don't think it's about rugby at all. It's it's just about tourism because they, how they would have done it in the same way they do with league and AFL, there's now a magic round in Adelaide for AFL. There's a magic round for rugby league in Brisbane. They've gone to Melbourne because they would have said, does anyone want this? There'll be a lot of people. Coming down to your ta- your city, they'll be travelling. You know, your, your city will make millions. Can you give us? And, and Victorian government would have said, "Yeah, here's five million dollars. Bring it down to Amy Park there in Melbourne." Um, and that's how this stuff happens. So it doesn't actually matter what happens on the on the ground because that's just for TV. The actual games, it's just getting right. bikes to drink beer, to catch taxis, to um, eat a lot of food, and that's what it's all about. It's about tourism dollars. Can you imagine? Like you've got all the uh, two chicken a day two chicken a day eaters watching the rugby, the big units, the big men, and they run into little girls from the Ed Sheeran concert afterwards. Oh, what did you think of... I don't even know any Red Sheeran songs. No, what did you think of that? No, oh, no, no, it's going to be a very strange situation when they all meet after the game. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, you raise a good point too in that, you know, this is what I don't get, and I know that rugby doesn't get it. I don't get why they don't get it. You know, we got the breakers here. It's a sellout on Sunday. They engage with their fans. There is a break. Who are the breakers? Are they basketball? Yeah, they're breakers. They're, they're playing the Sydney Kings and the A and B. And so this is the final series. But they connect with their fans. You know, cricket and rugby in this country, the way that they operate is they've sold these deals to the TV and the, and the, the CEO and the board just think, oh, now that we've actually got the money in the bank, that's all we have to do. There is actually no, they don't actually care. They don't, you know, there's, not, there's nothing like, let's actually get our star players in front of the media. Let's try and actually connect with people. Let's try and actually give a fan day experience. None of that seems to occur. Why is that? You're right. You're right, because they think they can re- sit on their laurels and people will just come. Mm. Whereas the younger person's games, like basketball, they market the hell out of it. And they're run, their marketing department's run by young people. I think there's too many old white farts who run cricket and, uh, and rugby, and they don't want it. Oh, it's just marketing stuff. No, I don't want to be involved. But what about that cricket the other day? Oh. That was one of the greatest oh. games of cricket oh. in... And what's going on in India is incredible as well. Test cricket's making a comeback. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And look, and I always say, look, if you don't get test cricket, if you don't understand that life is encapsulated in five days like it was at the Basin Reserve, all the great things you've ever done in your life, all the worst things you've ever done, all the happiness, all the deflation, elation, all of that encapsulated like that. It doesn't have to take five days, but that was absolutely brilliant. And then I turned on and I, I turned on yesterday, and I'm going, what in Australia? You're going to win this third test, mate. You only have to bat 75 runs. Oh, don't bank on that, mate. So she starts in a, not too long and out. 76 runs may well be beyond us. <laughs> we could collapse for 12. That would be so brilliant. No, 26 over, is the number. Beautiful. 26 is the number. And I think in South Africa, there was a time there a couple of years, a few years back, where you just chased yeah. it. That's the one record nobody wants. And we've got it. The lowest ever test inning score against England, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise that. Have you guys got it? Yeah, well, we, got we could... We could beat that today. You never know. This blo- that ball is turning, and that's. Can you imagine you're the um, you're the TV broadcaster in India? So this is the third test. Uh, yeah, you know, it should be. Go- they should have shown at this stage 15 days of cricket. At the moment, we're up to day seven. They have lost so much money because the tests are going too quickly. They're hating it apparently. T20 on a test pitch, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. But what is the problem yeah. with that? As long as you get a result, is that what we want now with test cricket? I mean, I love a fighting draw on the last day. That doesn't happen that often. But is that what no. we actually want? No, you don't like it. No, that, no one wants a fighting draw. Everyone wants a result. You- 
mate, golden point in footy now. Like that, and that'll be the problem with Super Rugby. No one wants a draw. Everyone wants to uh, you know who won, who lost. I want it in black and white. I want that in Test cricket too. If you need an eighth day, go right ahead. Take another three days. So another round of Super of oh, sorry Six Nations rugby this weekend as well. So I mean, what I mean is 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 it just an Ireland benefit now? France are actually looking a little wobbly. I'm watching this thinking maybe they aren't as scary as we thought up there. Oh, mate, who knows? You know, they're, who knows what's motivating at this stage? Have they left all their best performances and now they just go to sleep until the World Cup? How the hell? Let's just think about it. There's there's eight games of rugby league. Oh, there's how many games of Super Rugby? Is that six, six or six, seven? Yeah, six, six games, yeah. Six. There's, AF, there's, there's a cricket test match to mop up yet and you're telling me I have to watch Six Nations. <laughs> My wife hates me anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, no. So, this dislikes me at times. Mm. Um, this is impossible. How am I going to get through another five, what, seven months of this? It's, it's I mean, what do you, I mean, this is the thing, you know, I, I kind of, I, I'm, I'm trying to have these conversations myself. So when it comes to the weekend, yeah, but you've worked all week. You don't need to be working on the weekend. Yeah, but I just, I, I can't, can't I just... I've got to keep an eye on it. Can I watch this one? What am I going to talk to my mates about? Well, and then there's that and game after goes, that, but you've you already watched a game. Or you you, don't, yeah. you just sit there and you just watch sport. But that's talking. Yeah. That's how we communicate, yeah. isn't it? Can you empty the dishwasher? No, I'm watching, I'm doing some work. Well, no, you don't work for Fox Sports anymore, Greg. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a bit hurtful. Uh, I spent, I don't know, finally, I just, I, I was, I spent, you know, quite a bit of the last weekend out at Briscoe's buying doormats for the floor, mate. That's my life. Oh, Jesus. No, no. No, well, footy started. It's okay. There's plenty on. Enjoy.